President Biden will meet with a group of Democratic governors at the White House today, hoping to calm fears over his reelection prospects. This is part of an aggressive effort now to try and salvage his campaign following last week's debate performance. Let's bring in Doug Luzader for more on this. Hey there, good morning. Good morning, and the president is hoping to shore up support among Democrats now, some of whom are being more vocal about their concerns about his campaign. The president tried to add some spring to his step yesterday in an event to talk about extreme weather. Hi, everybody. At the White House, though, his press secretary was besieged by questions about his health. After the debate, did the president get examined by a doctor or did he get a neurological scan? Does President Biden, at 81 years old, have Alzheimer's? Is anyone in the White House hiding information about the president's health? or his ability to do the job day to day? Absolutely not. It didn't help that CNN just released a poll showing former President Donald Trump maintaining a six-point lead over Biden. The New York Times with a lengthy report on Biden's lapses, okay. saying his debate preps at Camp David didn't begin until 11 a.m. each day and included afternoon naps, adding that some who encountered him behind closed doors noticed that he increasingly appeared confused or listless or would lose the thread of conversations. Many elected Democrats are now asking difficult questions. I think it's a legitimate question to say, is this an episode or is this a, a condition? One Democratic member of Congress, Lloyd Doggett of Texas, was the first to go a step further. I remain hopeful that uh, despite all the, the input from his own staff and perhaps from some family members, that he'll look at these numbers and realize that this is a hill just too high for him to climb and call on someone else. Okay, Reuters, meantime, is reporting that there is a group of 25 House Democrats, according to one Democratic aide, who are prepared to call on Biden uh, to step aside from this reelection campaign if his performance doesn't improve here in the days ahead. So he's going to be under the microscope. Back to you guys. You know, Doug, is there a timeline for this? Have you heard anything? internally with, within the, the Democratic Party about when they would potentially make a decision about whether or not Biden would continue in the race? Well, the, the good news for Democrats is they have a little more time than Republicans do because the Republican convention uh, comes first. Nevertheless, they have a roll call vote vote scheduled in, in early August. Um, so they've got to do this pretty quickly if they're going to make the change. It's theoretically possible to do it, but there is not much time left. I don't know if either one of you have uh, read some of the articles coming out this week. Also some conversation where they're comparing the past with Truman and LBJ and how they knew when it was time to quit. They made that decision on their own and how this is similar or different to what's going on currently. The difference being, though, they came to that decision on their own. Sure. Now there's pressure on Biden to make that decision. It's not an easy thing to do, particularly when you're dealing with politicians who have spent their lives to reach that pinnacle. It's a tough thing to walk away from. And then, of course, who would slide in in his place? Yeah. That's the other question. That's right. I mean, that, that's kind of overriding all of this, is that, that concern about could the party coalesce very, very quickly around someone else, be it the vice president or, or someone else? Uh, there's so much, yeah. so much Thank to you, figure out, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, plenty of time or not enough time to do it. Depends how you look at it. Doug, we'll talk to you <laughs> later. Thanks so much.